Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Skylar, and today I'm starting a new YouTube channel called Way Too Familiar, so please hit like and hit subscribe, and let's get started. So this is Frank the iPhone Doctor, and if you've seen him on MacCrunch.com before, you're probably very familiar with his spiel. He basically talks about how all his viewers are looking for an iCloud Unlock solution, and he has that solution. So let's watch him and see. I uploaded on our channel and I wanted to address some of the questions that we've gotten in our email inbox from our viewers. That email inbox must be really flooded, especially since he hasn't uploaded in a while. Um, this is August 12, 2019. He's uploaded once for New Year's. He uploads here and there. That's a lot of subscribers and this is a lot of description. A little bit unnecessary, let's see. One of the most frequently asked questions is how someone who purchased a secondhand iPhone or iPad can unlock the activation lock without using the Apple ID from the previous owner. Now there's actually no way to do this unless you have the receipt of the phone. So a lot of these scams online, what they do is they ask you to pay a fee and then with that fee, they gather the resources that are needed to reprint a new receipt and then go to Apple and get a new unlock. The only other way would be to bypass the unlock, which there is software to do that, but that doesn't really unlock the iCloud. It just bypasses the screen on the device so that the user can still get in, and there's a lot of limitations to that. This seems to be a real big issue for a lot of our viewers because people keep asking the same question. So I decided to make a video on how to fix this issue. I don't think you decided to make a video, Frank. Does this guy look at all familiar to you? If you just go to YouTube and if you start typing in meme Fiverr, oh, what comes up? The Dr. Fiverr meme. Let's click on this. Oh, wow. Wow, this is crazy. Let's open one of these. Hello, sir. Good news. The surgery was a complete success and everything went amazing. We successfully did surgery on a grape. Why is he dabbing? And why is he talking about something that's completely different from MacCrunch.com? Frank, I thought you were the iPhone doctor. I thought that you could fix my iPhone. Yes, we did in fact do surgery on a grape. Wow see what other videos he has. Hello fellow members of the medical community. My son traveled to Japan recently and got bitten by a mine. When he got back earlier this week, I noticed something really different about him. His hair was growing blue and he started to think that his name is Hatsum of Miku. What does this mean? His condition has been getting worse and worse by the day and yet he has the same sort of atmosphere when he talks, but this is really weird. MacCrunch.com also has other videos, how to stop annoying push notifications on your computer. Wait a minute, I thought that Frank was the iPhone expert at MacCrunch.com. Why is he talking about push notifications and Netflix? What's going on? Well, if we go to Fiverr.com and if we type in Frank George, TV. Oh wow, here he is. I'm just gonna click out of that. Let's see what he has. Okay, so it says that for 150 words, it's only $20. Looks like he's a hired spokesperson from Fiverr. I will gladly create an award-winning spokesperson in a suit on a background of your choice video <laughs> in 4K. I love how he still has that atmosphere about him when he talks. The highest quality on Fiverr typically delivered in just 48 hours, dressed in a suit or casual clothes with an appropriate background to match your script. With over two decades of experience shooting and producing, delivering right here with five star rating, over 4,000. Wow, he's right. He does have five stars. Vetted by Fiverr and completed at least 100 orders on time with a minimum 4.8 rating. Let's see what other videos he does. Okay, he does medical videos. Oh. This is a high quality, expandable, and retract garden hose review. The garden hose is made by Kegamore. When filled with water, it expands to 100 feet in length. The inner hose is four layers of latex designed for longevity. 
It's very durable and long lasting as the outside is sturdy, but yet highly flexible. So he's the iPhone doctor, he's the Netflix doctor, he's the computer doctor, and he's the garden hose doctor. Very interesting. Oh, this one looks funny. Ahoy there, sailors, maidens, explorers, and welcome to the jerk store. I'm your Capitan. Mm -hmm. You're safe. <laughs> and if you fancy your spirited and sometimes animal. Ha, ah, gotcha. Frank George here, oozing. So he clearly knows what he's doing. He knows that he is working for MacCrunch.com as a hired Fiverr specialist. He knows that he is making a lot of money because let's say that let's say that that iCloud video costs maybe a thousand words. That is a hundred and forty dollars. And if it's two thousand words, he's making two hundred and eighty dollars. That is crazy. And to think that all these viewers are either trying to download iCloud Unlock Deluxe, which doesn't exist as we go further in the video. It's advice and plenty of download options. Plenty of download options. Well, let's see. If I go to the link in the description, as he asked, and if I try to download it, there's actually no place to download it. If I click start, this is actually an ad, and it's gonna just take me to an ad. So that's not it. I need to click on a real start button, and there is no button at all. There's another fake button. You could see it's an ad because it says ad choices up here. Cloud unlock dot zip. Now it makes you subscribe to Noble File, which is not even uh, MacCrunch.com's channel. So yeah, this is very weird. Frank George, I don't know how you got this job on MacCrunch.com. I don't know what they're paying you. I don't know how all of these subscribers don't see that this is the Fiverr Doctor meme guy right here. It's definitely really interesting how he's just still working for them. If we go to MacCrunch.com, well, happy 2020. This is his 2020 video. Things have changed for all of us, and I'm glad to see that you are right here watching this video right here and right now. They hired him because he's a good actor, but he definitely doesn't know what he's talking about. Apple has recently changed its iCloud lock mechanism and made it harder even for people to unlock their devices. Apple did change the iOS when 13.3.1 came out they did patch the check rain exploit semi patched they didn't fully patch it you can still get into the springboard of the device but it's just harder to keep the device running because Apple made it so that even if you check rain exploit it if you sleep the screen it will stop working and if you press the home button it will stop working He's not really saying the full truth. He's just using little bits and pieces of the truth to convince you to ultimately purchase Mac Crunch's services because you're not gonna download iCloud Unlock Deluxe because it doesn't exist. So you're gonna end up paying for their services. That's why iCloud King unlock Apple and check Rain's methods simply don't work anymore. You can't say that check Rain doesn't work anymore because it's still used and it still works. iCloud King and Unlock Apple, to compare them to Check Rain isn't fair because iCloud King and Unlock Apple are just as big a scam as Mac Crunch is. Well, good thing I'm here to show you how you can remove iCloud Lock in 2020 without Apple ID or password. Watch out! <laughs> This guy is crazy. You're about to miss something really important. Do you want your device unlocked remotely using your IMEI? I know you do. Okay, <laughs> first of all, you can't remotely unlock somebody's device with just the IMEI number. Otherwise, people would already be doing it. So basically how this works is he's going to ask everybody to comment in the comments their IMEI number, their iPhone model. All this is, is this is so that Mac Crunch can create a receipt. 
that they can bring to Apple in the hope of getting it fixed. It's probably not going to work and the user will probably lose his or her money. Here's what you need to do. First and most importantly, like this video. Most importantly, like the video. Because MacCrunch.com wants a lot of likes and subscribers. And the reason why they want a lot of likes and subscribers is so that it looks like that their business is legitimate. And make sure that you are subscribed to MacCrunch.com. A lot of people made sure that they were. Now, hit the bell icon. Oh, he's going a step further and saying hit the bell. This way, they'll get push notifications to your phone. Then comment your IMEI -E device model and the country that you are in. Okay, so this is important. They included the country as well because if you're saying that you're in Afghanistan, let's say, and if Mac Crunch is truly located in the US, who knows, it could be located in Nigeria for all we know right now, but if it is located in the US, then they're going to not really look at that comment as much as they would look at a United States comment where they could do some business in the US with the Apple Store. Hope you enjoyed this video, everyone. This is definitely something that's going to need a bit more investigation. We definitely want to see where MacCrunch.com is located, where they're from. We also want to learn more about Frank George. If he knows exactly what he's doing, he probably wants to make a couple bucks on Fiverr, and that's fine. But does he know that he is the face behind one of the biggest iPhone scams? to run to date. Thanks for watching everyone, please sure to like this video and to subscribe to Way Too Familiar, and we'll see you next time.